Welcome to another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. Now because the ask you to because today I'm going to be providing some tremendous value. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from Westboro, Louisiana. I like to make videos. <sighs> that was a lot to say. Today's going to be a little bit different type of vlog from what I normally do because I'm going to tell you guys how I became a general contractor and how you can too. To give you guys a little bit of a backstory, I became a general contractor in 2006 at the age of 21. But let's back up even farther. Pretty much my whole entire family was involved in the construction business in some way, shape, or form. And when we started building my dad's house at age 12, that gave me an interest in the whole process. And fast forward a few years, I went to work for a company called Brett Construction at age 16 during the summer. And my duties involved like carpet work and concrete work and miscellaneous stuff that a general contractor would do. Fast forward a few more years when I graduated high school, I ended up going to college. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't finish college. I went to school in construction management, but I did not get a degree. And here's a key point. What that made me able to do was get an internship in Brett Construction's office. During my time as an intern, I learned how to estimate, I learned how to project manage, all the things that happen in the construction office. And the deal was with my boss, as long as I stayed in college, I was going to be able to keep the internship. This gave me all my construction management skills as well as business management skills. And I'm most definitely not going to be around the bush about this. I actually did flunk out of college. And the reason was is because I was trying to work at the same time, but I just wasn't smart enough to make the grades. The kind of kicker was when I was working as an intern, I was also starting Nelson Builders as a bit of a side hustle. So that pretty much left zero time for me to do college stuff. And also I got married at 18, so I was wanting to start up like a life. And it's hard to do that as a college kid, you know. And not long after flunking out of college, I quit my job at Brett Construction because I had enough side work to sustain a full-time job. I didn't even tell Leanne I was quitting my job when I came home and told her she was kind of freaked out. When I started Nelson Builders, I was doing concrete work and that eventually graduated into carpenter work. And then I came across a guy that was a general contractor that I did some trim work for and he got to know me a little bit and he said Clay you need to be at the top of the food chain and everybody before him would always say that being a general contractor was unattainable it was too hard to do so it always just intimidated me the thought of actually becoming a general contractor I always wanted to be a general contractor now that his encouragement persuaded me that it was a possibility and I knew that in order to build houses like this this also like this 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 let's not forget this this and this. I was going to have to become a Louisiana licensed general contractor. So here's the requirements that you need to obtain the actual license. And keep in mind these are requirements of Louisiana, but I bet they're fairly similar throughout the states. A $10,000 net worth or letter of credit. This means you need to have assets equal at least $10,000 or like a letter of credit from the bank or like a credit line at the bank. I don't really know why they do this. Maybe it's just adding security for the consumer, just knowing that this person that's operating a business can have access to $10,000 if needed. I have no idea. Second thing, maybe even the first thing is form an LLC because everything that you do from here on out is going to be assigned to that LLC or it could be like incorporated or whatever you know there's a lot of different type of business entity type everything's going to be assigned to the LLC your tax ID number your bank account your license and I'm sure a bunch of other crap workers comp and general liability insurance this is probably the hardest most expensive part it cost me about three grand to get the workers comp and the general liability insurance put together the workers comp is usually more expensive for some reason not really sure why and then the general liability is fairly manageable and last but not least you have to pass the exam and here's how I did it you want to find a class somewhere they offer these classes it's like private businesses is they basically put you through maybe three days of just schooling about like the test and sometimes it's word for word of what's going to be on the test and if I had not done that I wouldn't have been able to pass the test. Number one because I'm a sucky test taker. Number two because I'm a sucky test taker. Number three I'm just not really that smart. But I want to say it was maybe $500 and that is an absolute essential. There was a lot of things that I already knew just from my experience but there was a lot of things that I just had no clue about. And keep in mind it's been 14 years since I did all this so there probably could be some variations or changes but it took me about three months from start to finish from the time of the application from the time that I actually got my license. So it takes some time. And I hope I've given you enough information to get started. If not drop a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. But for now it's been another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.